This show is brought to you by Manscaped. Use the code AFTV for 20% off your order and free shipping at manscaped.com. AFTV, James, oh, he's got a big smile on his face. Long time we haven't had James on. Well, James ain't been on for a few weeks. But um, James, that was mm. a very, very good performance by Arsenal today. Yeah. Yeah, uh, apart from the last 10 minutes, pretty much perfect. Um, I, can't, I couldn't believe we went a goal down. And you mm. just got to credit... Um, you got to credit Lamella, I suppose. I don't like to. I don't like to, but you know, you know what, right? Finish. You know yeah. what, right? I looked at the goal when he scored it, and I'm like, "Yeah, it's a decent goal." Yeah, it is. I know. I watched. <laughs> it, I it, thought, it was an incredible goal. Yeah, yeah I mean, it, it was, was like, you, even when it went in, like people are looking. Who do I blame? You can't blame no one. That's a worldie. Yeah, you it's, never it score is. a goal like that again. To even yeah. attempt that, I was like, wow. Very, but, very instinctive. You gotta give it to mm. them. You gotta give it to them. But hey, we completely been... against the runner play though. Oh, well, because we, you yeah. know, before that we'd hit the the post, we'd hit the bar, we'd missed about, we'd missed chances. Mm -hmm. Completely against the runner play. Well, well, while we're on the topic of Spurs, and this is obviously an, Ar an Arsenal channel, but Spurs were terrible, and they should be disgusted with the way Mourinho approached that game. Because I'll be the first Arsenal fan to say it that obviously North London's red and all that. They've got a very good team. We. They shouldn't be causing us a few problems they did. Part of that's down to how, bad, how well we played, but a big part of it was down to their setup. But from an Arsenal perspective, we were, we were terrific. We were terrific. Know? On the front foot. Yeah, yeah go on, what say? What I was going to say today is I saw two contrasting stars today mm -hmm. from two managers, right? And now I'm actually glad that we did not go anywhere near Mourinho, mm -hmm. right? Because as you said, they probably got on balance better players than us at the moment, right? Um, you know, they've got some key top players yeah. that are at the top of their game, right? But I saw one manager that's brave mm -hmm. in Mikel Arteta who said, no, we're taking the game to you. We don't care about your front three. We're, mm -hmm. you know, we're, we're going to take the game to you and we will deal with your front three if you try and get them. And then I saw another manager who was scared. Mm -hmm. He was like, no, our job is contain him, contain him, contain that, contain that. And the minute that game started, after mm -hmm. about 10 minutes, and I saw Arsenal playing the ball out from the back and nobody pressing. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I was like... The thing that's outdone oh. us recently. I was like, the thing that Burnley did mm -hmm. and got a result. The thing that, you know, um, during the week, Olympiacos did mm -hmm. and got a res you know, got joy out of. The thing that other teams have done recent in recent games yep. and got joy out of. Why are they not pressing? Yep. And that showed me that they don't want to press because they don't want us to get beyond them. It's yep. a containment job, and then hopefully, what I've seen from Spurs a lot this season: mm -hmm. win the ball, get it up to Harry Kane or Bale or Son, and they'll do the hurt work. And and I just thought, I'm so glad that we got a manager that's brave and is yeah. willing to have a go. I completely agree. And um, contrast, I said this on Forever Arsenal podcast on AFTV VIP. Go check it out. Um, I said that. You contrast the way Mourinho spoke after the game they beat us 2-1, where he talked about how brilliant we were. They caused us loads of problems and everything. And going into this game, it was all negative. Oh, I don't look down. And he was trying to almost spark that rivalry. I'm telling you, Mourinho does that when he's worried. He does that when he's scared and when he respects opposition. And I think he went into this game going, this isn't the Arsenal that we played back in November. They've mm. developed number 10s now. They've made a few signings. They got rid of the Deadwood. And it showed today there was a harmony. Now, what happened with the Bamiyan could really have knocked us, and it didn't. And for 80 minutes of that game, we were by far the better team. Spurs deserved absolutely nothing from it, and I'm really glad they got nothing. Great goal. Odegaard, though, I thought was outstanding. Mm. The work rate. You know, I, I don't... I'm not going to talk about past number 10s who over the years have been absolutely terrific, but we've kind of been crying out for someone who's got that degree of creativity, mm. right? Has got that, that magic, that, that, that specialty about them, but works hard off the ball and is tenacious and gets stuck in. I remember when we got Odegaard and I, I did an interview with um, a Norwegian mm. TV station. And that's what the guy said to me. He goes, Odegaard is like Ozil, but with work rate. Wow, okay, there you go, <laughs> there you go. You're kind of seeing that because he does put the work in. Mm -hmm. he, a lot of times he's the one leading the press. Absolutely, and look, if Odegaard has even half the career uh, Ozil had, mm. you know, he'll have had an amazing career. So let's just say that Ozil was amazing, mm. I loved him. But there's definitely a bite about him that I really, really enjoy. I don't think Arteta would have brought him in if he didn't have that. Yeah. Um, credit to Smith Rowe, who has struggled it's out brilliant. on the left in the past, but today he, was, he had, oh, poor Doherty, man. At one point, I thought he really is an Arsenal fan because he's making this far too easy for us. <laughs> um, 
Look, that's all I'll say. We're going to go into you know more detail in full time, which, which comes out, and mm. you know we'll, we'll, we'll analyze the game. But I'm just absolutely delighted. North London is red. Let's try chase them now. But look, I've got to say this: I hope we don't meet them in Europe this year because I think that's why. A, I, uh, I listen, tell, after after watching them today, yep. I don't want them in Europe. Mm -hmm. You know, what I mean, I don't. Want, it's not that I want them in Europe, mm -hmm. but if we got them in Europe after what I saw today, I'll be like, I think over two legs, I'd fancy us. Yeah, I I I, I, I wouldn't be. Listen, I don't want them over two legs because any time mm -hmm. you're playing yeah. Tottenham, it's going to be a tough game. Mm -hmm. you know I mean, it's nervous, it's mm -hmm. intense. But from what I saw today, there'd be nothing to fear. No, no, no. Look, there are, there are probably better teams out there to draw than Tottenham. Mm. That's not what it is. I think it's just the emotional roller coaster oh, of going through yeah. a North London derby. Look, we've done it now this season. We, you know, we, we, we took our pie, but this year, it, sorry, today mm. we. You know, we deserved it. And I'm really glad we took the three points. And uh, yeah, a little lesson in football from Arteta there, I think.